Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here and still the voice of hardcore boxing Porky's half term report for June right. Where are we at? Where, where are we at? Who's the number one promoter in the world? Aram already earned you'd have to say wouldn't you? Who's next? You'd have to say Golden Boy and Frank Warren who are vying for second position. The rest of them are also runs, aren't they? But where are we? Where are we at the moment? Where where are we with boxing? Is boxing in a good place? Uh, where are we with a lot of topics? Uh, I don't know. Where are we with PEDs? I mean, what what's happening with that? Why are people getting four year bans for one cocaine charge? And Tyson Fury gets a cocaine charge, a refusal charge, and an Angelone charge. He gets a two-year ban and backdated. So I don't get it. I think PEDs is a mess. I think governing bodies are a mess. Governing bodies are writing the rule book as they go along. I think the worst governing body at the moment is the WBA. Then you have to say the WBC, then the WBO. And then I'd put the IBO and the IBF level. I think IBF's probably the best one out there than IBO. The other three are shocking, aren't they? They're manipulated all the time, aren't they, by promoters. And it's bad for the game, isn't it? Uh, what these people need are boxers to take legal action against them. Do you remember when I said that... Mick Hennessy threatened legal action with WBC to get Howard Eastman his shot against Hopkins. They crumbled, didn't they? And there's been other incidents, other incidences like that, where these governing bodies crumble because they haven't got the finances to be taking people on in court. We all know what happened with the case where the WBC lost millions, didn't they, where a guy sued them over a Roy Jones fight. So, I don't know where we're at with governing bodies, but I'm all for out out in the lot of them and just having uh, a, I don't know ring magazine belt where they, they don't take fees do they have people just have a ring magazine belt for every weight division and then we have a, a number one up to up to ten and that's let's just do it that way because these governing bodies are shocking aren't they they ruin it sport PEDs now Eddie Earn, we all saw him upset after uh, the guy died on his show in America 48 hours later he's making fights with multiple drug cheats but yet he's going on about how he wants to clean up the sport and he wants life bans and Tony Bellew is running around Judge Bellew uh, saying off with their heads you know PED cheats but he's okay because he didn't take it you know meaning people that he knows who've been busted you know pushing the matchroom bias uh, company man Bellew or Judge Bellew whatever you want to call him Helmet Bellew Weapon Bellew I don't know what he is the disappearing man Bellew but he gives me an ulcer so God knows where he gives to you people but where we're at at the moment I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure getting on for Eddie Hearn's July 25th show there's no event application through Essex Council to uh put an event on there yet there's no work being done we've seen aerial shots so is that just rubbish I don't know do I care yeah so I'm not gonna say who cares because I care but uh, it is what it is point I want to make is what a sky gonna do about the big contract that's due is Eddie Earn gonna get his contract renewed I'm not so sure. I'm hearing reports that they're willing to work with other people. People are saying that MTK are going to get a deal with Sky. Uh, if they do, that's good, I think. Uh, for the simple reason they've got loads of fighters. They pay everybody on time, so isn't that good? Uh, as Eddie Earn abused his position at Sky, yeah, I'd say he's abused it. He's tried to play one off or other, Dazone off against Sky. 
he's now gone running back to Sky and he's he's for all things Sky now apparently the sky is the limit but it is what it is isn't it these people can't lie straight in bed if they've got a problem come see me or ring me if you don't want to come see me let's have a debate but they're not going to do that are they not when people are called out on their utter They're not going to do it, are they? Finally got it right. <laughs> so, alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares.